10 News has learned what likely brought this swarm of female leopard sharks to the shores of La Jolla today. 10 News reporter Allison Ash is live in La Jolla with where marine biologists say there were basically no males to be found. Allison. Yeah, the female leopard sharks who put on quite a show out here in the water earlier today have now left for the evening. Marine biologists aren't really sure why the males just never show up. The view from Sky 10 is impressive. Those dark moving objects right underneath and around the kayakers and paddleboarders look like this up close. They're leopard sharks and they're here because the water is calm, shallow and relatively warm. The perfect place to incubate their embryos. Marine biologists say 95% of the leopard sharks that hang out near La Jolla shores from June to mid-December are pregnant females. You know what? It's a little late in the season, but uh, we've been fortunate enough to still have them out and around, so uh, hopefully they'll stick around for a while. Several kayak tours went out for a close-up look, which for some was unnerving. When I first went kayaking, I was like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? But no, it's, it's very like dead calm, but for someone who wouldn't know, they'd probably be a little bit like scared. It was a, a little bit scary, but not more exciting uh, because we had been told that they were harmless and and uh, but still it was a little freaky just being out there among them. What few realize is that male leopard sharks rarely come here. They prefer to hang out in the kelp forest off Del Mar, far away from the hormonal females. Male or female, leopard sharks are relatively harmless, but may try to defend themselves if you grab a hold of them. The best advice, leave them alone and enjoy the view. And at night, the leopard sharks actually leave the shallow waters here and they go out to, into the submarine canyon and, and look for food, mostly squid. Uh, up through mid-December, though, they are out here usually during the day. We're live in the Hoya Shores. Allison Ash, 10 News.